did. I had to come from the hospital. And no, good thing. Really. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I had to introduce the first screening in California where the whole franchise started. Yeah. This was, uh, as you know, this was a very, very personal and important film to us. I used, every time when I saw the movie at the premiere, Paul Walker and I would go off to the side. And he would always tell me, Vin, the best one's still in the camp. Well, I hope tonight you'd let Pablo know that this, this is the best one for you guys. Yes, sir. If, 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 if you love the movie, and I hope you do, and I think you will, <laughs> uh, feel free to talk about it. At the same time, know that you are a select few that have been allowed to see this movie before April 3rd. So think about that and allow people to enjoy the movie and discover it for themselves. This was a labor of love. It was in some ways the hardest movie I ever had to do because the relationships that you see on film are so real. When the tragedy happened, I lost my best friend. I lost my brother. Tonight, You're the man, D. I love you. Love you. Love you more. You got family here, Ben. I love that. <laughs> what can I say, guys? Thanks for being my family. Thanks for always taking care of us. Thanks for believing in us. Thanks for taking the themes that we put in this action saga somehow applying it to your own lives, you know what's most important in life. Family. 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 <laughs> we truly made this for you. I said at the premiere of Fast and Furious 6 at Universal Studios that we would bring the saga back home. And in this film, that's exactly what we do. Please, from my heart, know that we made this movie from our hearts and know that this is our gift to you. And more importantly, it's for my brother there. Let it be the legacy you know he deserves. Thank you. All love.